Hi, I'm Theo. I'm Gary. And today we're talking about loneliness and isolation. A lot of people talk about feeling lonely or feeling mm -hmm. isolated, but what does that actually mean? There is a very big difference between being lonely and alone. Alone would suggest that you just haven't got people around you, but loneliness is something that transcends that, like a disconnect with the people around you. It's a disconnect with society as a whole. I was recently out with a load of friends and I felt like I didn't belong or I didn't deserve to be there. And those are feelings that manifest and grow and they can feed things like depression, anxiety, other mental health issues. Feeling like they don't fit in mm. or, you know, feeling like they don't have any friends. You might be struggling with something on the inside and you don't know who to talk to about it. That could be sexuality, gender identity, disability. You might be being bullied for something. Yeah. There's so many reasons that it could start. Comparing yourselves to other people and thinking about what other people yeah. have and what you don't have, feeling that you're not part of something. So friends of yours might be more successful than others. Um, people might be going on holidays that you could never afford. And with social media, it's very easy to, to watch other people looking on and thinking, oh, I'll never be part of that. And then letting that manifest as loneliness is really harmful. Thankfully, I have surrounded myself with a core group of people. Unfortunately, I don't reach out to them that often because one of the main things you find when you feel loneliness, you don't want to be a burden to people. Yeah. So I guess it really comes down to trust and who you trust. Not just in your relationships and friendships and family, but in those people that you deal with online. Trust is so important when it comes to building a friendship and sort of spilling everything you have to say to them because you don't want to share your story and then have it thrown back in your face. Yeah. If you maybe have trusted too easy yeah. or maybe not put time into building up that yeah. strong trust, and it is thrown back in your face, it will only lead to more loneliness and isolation, and isolation. within yourself. But even in real life, you still need to make sure you build that trust. And we say in real life and we say online, but it's all two of the same. This fictional world that some people create is fiction, and you have to remember to root yourself in the here and now. And that's one thing I would say to help with loneliness. I think being present and try not to overthink or think of the past or what's been. And you can do a number of things to help with that. Some people, meditation, art therapy, music therapy, reaching out to friends yeah. and making those sort of connections. Remembering that your feelings matter and that this is a person in your life you can yeah. trust. I think it's a bit harder when you maybe feel like you don't have anyone in your life you can yeah. trust. One of the main things you can do is to acknowledge the patterns of behaviour that are holding you back or at least contributing to how you feel and thinking, right, I might not have anyone in my life I can turn to, but what can I do for myself? Yeah. And I think one of the main things you can do for yourself is to, to try and be motivated. Because as soon as you let that slip, like I slept through the whole of last week. So I am myself yeah. starting to try and learn to do things for myself. At least I tried. I, tried. Also that, I think like that's I the most important, that's the key because point. The more you do it, the more maybe confident within yourself, the stronger you become. And then maybe you'll have the strength and confidence to start reaching out and making those friends, those friends that you can build mm. those trustworthy friendships with. Once you've sort of established that you as a person deserve to have friends, because you do deserve <laughs> to have friends, try and make some connections with people. And the, the easiest way is to find common ground, whether it's through groups or societies, or whether it's a fandom on the yeah, internet. Yeah, exactly. What TV shows do you like? What <laughs> YouTubers are you watching? What films do you like? What books do you read? you just got to find that community of uh, people who are like-minded. Yeah. Maybe you're not used to, you're shy. You're not used to talking to people. Yeah, being shy is, is an issue. But I think it gets to a point when you have to choose shyness and that feeling of loneliness, that feeling of emptiness. And it can be very difficult to switch over. But it doesn't have to be a leap, you know. No, if you are shy, oh, it no, it doesn't have to be have like to be a leap. you have to say everything. No. Uh, a good way is sort of asking small questions and yeah. a active listening. Because if you listen, yeah. then you can respond to what they're saying and the conversation sort of builds itself. When you meet new people, you feel like, okay, I'm putting all this in, I'm getting, like, yeah. putting all this emotional stuff in. What if it all goes wrong? You know, if it goes wrong, it goes wrong. People are people. You, you have to take a risk sometimes. None of the people I know that live really social lives are onlookers. They're all doers. They're all people that participate in life. Again, as you said, you don't need to take a big leap. You need to work on little steps. Do it gradual. This is a lot harder for many of the people watching this that have searched for this sort of video. Yeah. And just know that you are enough because that was the thing that 
yeah. sort of kept, keeps me together. I know that I've got it in me. No one's going to wave a wand and I'm going I'm to just zip out of bed. I need to get myself out yeah. of bed. I need to make it happen. There is some little glimmer in everyone. You just have to look for it or at least take a breather, take a step back and, and then go forward. And now we'd like to hear from you. Let us know in the comments below what would you say to someone who is feeling isolated from the people around them? There's also loads of links in the description if you need any more help or advice about this topic. Thanks, Gary, for coming in. Thank you. I hope it helps someone. We'll see you next week. Bye. Bye. Bye.